Anyway, let me just make this Luby Hoopies. Mutators are off. It's probably going to put us in the right server. And I think they're just going to auto for the first game. So let's make a little uh, board here. Who we got? Doomsy. Flores, whose name I never um, capitalize. All right. I've done it in alphabetical order. Look at me. That's just without even thinking. Alphabetical order. I'm a genius. Um, oh, I need more lines here, don't I? Or more space. Okay, I'll I'll make space real quick. There we go. Incredible. So round one, we don't get the floss on. The <laughs> for some reason thinking of flossing now. Thank you, Mark King, for waiting until this romance is just about to start before that stuff gets saved there by Doomsy. And it does, in fact, get credited with a save, which is quite unusual. Are you serious, Mark King? Why do you have to do this to me? Thanks for the three guys, though. It's really a, a goal. No, Ocelon, in fact, goes for the pass. Brilliant play. He picks with the follow-up as well. I love this from Ocelon. Maybe he was going for a goal because he did hit the post, so I'm not sure if that pass was intended. But the follow-up from Repix was extremely quick. Now, do these guys know that the back player gets the kickoff first? Doomsy didn't know. It doesn't look like Repix and Ocelon or Flores knew anyway. Either, rather. Oh, no, actually, Flores would have known because he's the only person who did the right thing on that kickoff. You're supposed to send the person who spawns at the back uh, to the kickoff there because even though they're further away, they do... Uh, start with more boost, and that's how you can get there quicker. But it looks like only Flores was aware. Who is Repix? Repix is a player. He played for Epsilon uh, last season. I think he does still play for Epsilon, but as a sub um, in the Gfinity Elite Series. He's a Swiss, Swiss player. Probably one of the top three or four players in Switzerland. You'd have to um, probably drop either Skyline, Stocky, or Continuum out of top three to let Repix in. I don't know if anyone else besides those uh, besides those four. So he's probably the, the player that will be um, most new to you guys. Of course, also and Flores have been in many show matches Here's recently, and everybody knows Doomsie. Everybody loves Doomsie, and everybody loves AIDS4444. Thanks for the prime sub, dude. Appreciate that. It's pretty quiet here in the Hoops Arena. Pretty quiet game. Oh, also in a repix, both in the air for this. It's a little bit foolish. But they're quick to the recovery. That's the thing about hoops, it's difficult to counter attack. I say this every time that I'm doing a hoops cast during a pentathlon. Counter attacks are tricky in hoops because you can't just rush the ball into the net like you can in other game modes. And dribbling it can be difficult, but not if you're also on. This is impressive. Repix gives them the great pass, back flips it up. And that is not a bad shot as well. Repix has had a couple of great goals. Just slamming it off that back wall. Low arc shot. And <laughs> Repix not confident of getting to the ball in time. Good save though. Backing it up and getting it, it, the interception. But remember, if Doomsie and Flores do drop this match, then one of them, or you know, they both will be then fighting against each other to try and force the other person to finish last. There can be a three-way tie for first place. If one person unanimous last. That's, I always feel a little bit bad when that happens. I prefer having a unanimous winner than a unanimous loser. He's going for it, the center ball. It works out really well. This is going to be a tough one to say, but Repix is in a good position. Doomsie and Flores starting to connect together a lot better than they were at the start of the game. I do love when players are, are able to shoot to the front of the hoop. It's more difficult to save than... Uh, shooting to the back of the hoop usually because um, goalkeepers can't use the wall. Flores doesn't mind the quick rim job there. What do you say when you whiff in hoops? Hoops. Oh, geez. Are you serious? <laughs> joke Master 69. Thanks to the three pounds. You are indeed the Joke Master. That was phenomenal. Reflex gets tackled by Doomsy. That's a very, very backwards pop though from Doomsie. Flores, I'm not quite ready for it. Will there ever be more dad gameplay? I'm sure there will be. I'm sure there will be. I don't want to just, you know, do too much of that because it'll get boring. So Repix tries something fancy. Doesn't quite connect though. They're looking good though, Repix and Ocelon. Flores and Doomsie have had their chances, but the defense from Ocelon and Repix has been more than enough 
to stop them. And this is awkward. This might just dip in. Yes, it will. Doomsy struggling to read the low ceiling. 3 0. And now are Doomsy and Ocelon going to nail this kickoff? Doomsy, in fact, or rather, Floris is the one who's going to go for it. That's interesting. Doomsy going for a pass off the front of the net, which, of course, in Oracle, you can't hit the net. I'm sure, does this game look like it's lagging to you guys? I'm seeing some stuttering. I hope it's not uh, the server, or else that would be annoying for the players, but it is a little bit stuttery for me. Good start, though, for Reflex and Ocelon. And I will point out that the scoring for this is just game wins. It doesn't matter if you get pumped 10-0 and then just scrape a 1-0 overtime victory. Every win counts for the same. That's risky by Reflex. Oh, my goodness. But somehow, it's worked out really well. Ocelon dipping it in. Reflex is shooting, continuing to be impressive. Just always barely squeezing it over the front of the hoop. Making sure that the defense of the shortest possible time to react. But who do you guys think is most likely to go 3-0 here? If we, well, with three picks and Ocelon winning game one by the looks of things. And another good shot. This time Ocelon drills it in. These guys have had some phenomenal shooting. It can be really difficult to just hit that shot barely arcing over the crossbar. TwitchCon forgot to invite JBoy and dares to call themselves the Prime Streaming Service. Ashamed, invite Johnny to TwitchCon. I got an email about it a while ago. I was obviously going to have to pay my own ticket though. So not really too keen because it's in California and that is very expensive. It would have been pretty cool to go to TwitchCon. It's something that if there was, um, you know, if I had other Rocket League streaming buddies from Europe who, who wanted to go, then maybe, maybe we could go, but... Nobody, that, I don't know anybody is going over there from Europe, from the Rocket League community. Game 1 does go to Reapix and Ocelon. So one of these guys has the chance of going 3-0 in the lobby. One of them. Uh, but you can not have two players tying for first. You can either have three with tie for first or one unanimous first place finish. Oh, whoops, that's not right. Um, this is correct. So yeah, we have to be a little bit savage as well. Oh, let's hold that thought. Is Ocelon going to go for the kickoff? It should be Ocelon and Reflex going here. And this time they get it right. They have figured it out. Finished the training pack from yesterday's stream. Oh, you did? I'll maybe check it out after this. And see uh, how badly I do with your, your shots that you've made. I didn't see anybody's uh, votes of who they think is going to go 3-0. I'm thinking that although Reflex was the one who was banging them in last game, I'm thinking Ocelon probably has the best chance to go 3-0 in, uh, in this lobby. So I was very impressed with his midfield play. Good setup and good speed. Had a good shot himself, but that is a great shot from Flores. Again, the front of the hoop is such a difficult place to save from. Double commit from Doomsie and Ocelon. Open net shot for Flores. He's hit it too slow, but defender can't save it anyway. When I say he hit it too slow, I mean he hit it too slow for it to be unsavable. This was stoppable for Ocelon. Yeah, servers are bad today, I heard. Yeah, I'll tell these guys, I've heard that servers are bad, so it's not like a rogue server here, it's just that servers are not very good. I don't know, maybe the patch that Psyonix did yesterday, or this morning, whatever it was, was a server thing. Hopefully not. Hopefully they've just deleted all the virtual servers. I would gladly sit in a queue for five minutes um, to avoid getting put in a virtual server match. Oh, what's the one? The little rim job in itself. A self rim job. How did Doomsy not get that boost? Reflex just robbed him. Snagged the boost from right under his nose. Flores didn't have enough boost to score on this occasion. Finally caught you live. Welcome to the stream, Jason Flow Hair. Flow Hair. Hope you're having a good day. It's pretty easy to set up. Oh no, did you not interpret it correctly? We'll see, we'll see. Hey, my prediction is turning out to be wrong for now because Reflex and Flores are looking very, very solid. Well, it is Ocelon with the three shots for the blue team. Poor Doomsy looking like he might dip to 0 and 2, and then it'll just be him hoping for the three way tie for last place. 
as he would try to help um, Repix get the 3-0. Self rim job sounds interesting. Well, for lack of a better description, I'm sure that uh, it'll have to do. It'll have to suffice for now. Oh, cheeky mind game, Adunzi. He did drop this, and he's gonna slam it down as well. That was a good try. He was just trying to get above the ball there to deny the clear. Decent high pop. He's up for the rebound. Repix got a piece of it, I think. Not a big piece, but a piece nonetheless. Oh, and Ocelot has beamed it. He is frustrated with himself. You can see the camera flicking back and forth there. Not happy with his performance in defense this game. That's the second time uh, that they or that he's missed a savable ball. So Doom is saying Psyonix did maintenance and broke the servers. <laughs> Daphne's. It's not not entirely out of the equation. It was server maintenance, wasn't it? Like they they made they're maintaining the servers, but they made it worse. But hopefully it doesn't stick like this or stay like this. It's getting pretty silly that the servers are just not very good. These oh, oh, a save Flores goes back. Replays got completely done there by Doomsy. Bouncing it in off the edge of the rim. This time Ocelon does get the save. There's still time for Doomsy and Ocelon to come back here. They're not really passing as much as I would like from them. Need to start connecting with each other in the midfield. Oh, there's that stutter again. Very laggy. Good recovery though by Ocelon. Lag can't stop this man. Doomsy had a chance there to put that on net. It's still going to be pretty threatening. Ocelon deciding to hit that hard. Maybe trying to just barely rebound it into the front of the, of the hoop. Oh, you don't call it a net. Oh, Ocelon is going to be so sad that he got bumped there. He was on point with the air dribble. Doomsy. Or, or maybe on going. Oh, wow, what a pass. Bravery by Doomsy. Ocelon get the flip reset, but he doesn't get a good hitbox compared to Flores. There's only a minute left. A minute and a bit. Ocelon and Doomsy are really struggling. I don't think any of Doomsy's teams have scored so far. He's not having a good time with the new maintained servers that we're playing with today. It is confirmed now that all these stutters like we just saw there are in fact happening for the players as well, which is a shame. There's another one. They're really starting to creep in. I, I'm not just going to ignore this as well because it's not my, really my job to tell you guys that the servers for Rocket League are amazing. I'll just uh, tell you guys how it is. 3-0, that might be too much for Ocelon and Doomsday to come back from. But yeah, this is pretty... I can see it. Um, so yeah, I can see it too. Doomsday says he's teleporting everywhere. Though, like, the end of this game honestly was just pretty silly. <laughs> So many teleportations with the ball, um, making it pretty difficult to control the outcome. Shots at RLCS guys. No, no, it's all shots. If you're working for an organization uh, like RLCS, it's your job to make everything seem as good as possible. That's you know that's just part of the job. Of course, they can still. I, I don't know what their obligations are in terms of talking about lag and talking about disconnects and everything, but. Um, if it's in their contract, not to talk about it. Holy cow, that lag. <laughs> if it's in their contract not to talk about it, then they shouldn't talk about it. But I, I'm not in a you know, contract for, with anybody, so I can talk about whatever I want. Spark Bunny, thanks for the 10 months. Was that you I saw on Reddit the other day with the anti... Uh, what do you call it? The anti... Uh, scam key giveaway. Oh, what was that? Somebody said something at the end of that game, but I couldn't read it because it was too late. But it turns out it is, in fact, everybody who can see the lag. I <laughs> I was just typing, and then as soon as the it goes to post-match, what I was typing just like gets to, goes to the uh, other end of uh, the text box, and I'm typing in front of it again. So it was Repix, actually, who got the win there, alongside Floris. So we have two outcomes. Doomsy and, and Repix can work together to give Repix the lobby victory and make sure that Doomsy doesn't get sentenced to sole possession of last place. Floris and Ocelon are trying to work together to tie Repix's two wins. So, of course, everybody wants to win. But for slightly different reasons, Doomsy with a pop off the front of the rim. And that's a rebound coming in from himself. I left on the defensive, defensive POV here. See how confusing that was, but great rebound by Doomsy. 
Hardly had any boost left. But he does get it into the net for his first goal. And they did the kickoff. Oh no, they nearly did the kickoff pro properly. Repix didn't go for it though. It was his to take. Do time warp on these get or on these servers? I mean, we're pretty much playing time warp at, at times. With how uh, laggy it is. It's a big chance again for Doomsy. Has he done it again? A second goal off the front of the rim? That would have been sick if he'd bounced that one into the into the goal. He doesn't need to wait though. He's scored on the rebound again. Everybody else is floundering and Doomsy. Good shot. Just bouncing it enough off the wall to put it over the goalkeeper. Bad attempt for Musselin. Repix says good thing is everyone is amazing when they're playing with me. And Repix again forgets to go for the kickoff. He's not figured out the kickoff meta for uh, for hoops. Oh, Flores, did you get another touch here to take it away from Repix? What was this? I think he did. Yes, he did, in fact. That's brilliant by Flores. Repix may have had a save there, but Flores had the extra touch to redirect it on the goal line. Pretty cheeky stuff. Still though, as it stands, Repix will be the victor of the lobby. This Ocelon gets tackled by the net and it's going to bounce in. Oh, what a save though! By Ocelon it was. That was going on target. Modded Rocket League of John Sandman, never consider it. Yeah, I'll probably do some modded at some point. Some of those maps look like a lot of fun. Some of those maps look great. The I, I took a look at the volleyball map and it looks fantastic. So I definitely need to play that at some point. It takes a while to set up though, so I'll have to find some um, some people who are willing to dedicate an evening to just beating around. Doomsy not me. Yeah, Doomsy after Refix complimented him for being amazing. Says he's not amazing enough. Oh, he's just completely slammed himself off the rim. Doomsy impatient there. That is a huge misplay to drive into the into the goal. Should certainly be waiting at the back post give himself the option of going up the wall to save shots. Once he got as far forward as he did, the wall was blocked by the rim. He does have a chance to redeem himself. He might have missed it. He has missed it. Doomsy might be tilted after his misplay in defense. It's still all to play for. Three minutes, 15 seconds remain. This is going to be awkward. It's coming off the ceiling. Flores is up and he's completely read the rebound. The speed of Ocelon here. Ocelon off the ceiling. Flores is up just as the ball bounces. And look at that. Slam dunk from Flores. That is the goal of the series so far. That was really well played. Again, just a complete mix up from Repix and Doomsy. Repix just haven't, hasn't figured out the kickoffs at all. Oh, this is Doomsy's, but he doesn't really... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say Repix still hasn't figured it out, but it was Doomsy that time who didn't realize it was him uh, that was supposed to go for the kickoff. But the reason he's getting confused, he's typing the chat, but he's getting confused, is because in a normal map, the person who spawns in the diagonal is closer. But in hoops, if you spawn in a diagonal and someone else is at the back, it's the person at the back who's actually closer. And Doomsy got completely mind game there by the spawn, treating it like a normal map. We're still not done, though. This is going to be awkward. Repix with a cheeky air dribble away from the goalie. That's really well played. Playing keep away. As Ocelot and Flores are just desperately trying to keep the ball in the air. That touch from Repix was just enough to put it in an awkward position. I ship Flossalon. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm all, all about the Flossalon. Great combination. These guys are good friends. They've been practicing together. They're pretty much sparring partners for 1v1 tonight. I'd say that that is why they're both, or part of the reason why they're both so good at 1v1. They've just been practicing against each other since the beginning. Great placement of that shot from Doomsy. Also, and you can see the tricky thing that he had to deal with there is avoiding the rim on the way up the wall while also getting there in time for the ball. There we see it again. Doomsy and Repix completely beating the kickoff. So Repix tries to go from the diagonal, but he can't get there in time does get the save though. Doomsy, open that shot. Goes for the pass. When I say open that shot, I mean if he does somehow incredibly pop it towards the net, the defense won't be there to stop it. It's a good pop by Repix. Ocelon is there though. Yeah, do you guys in chat not ship Flossalon? I'd, I'd ship it. I'd ship Flossalon all day. 
They can both have a shit. It's Itu Guy. Is it Itu Guy? Itu Guy 95. Thanks for the prime sub. Welcome to the stream today. Hope you're having a good one. Oh, Flores just bopping himself off the rim after getting that save. It's good midfield defense again by Repex. The shooting is still continuing to be impressive by this man. Every time that he's taking shots from the midfield, he's able to get that arc pretty well. Oh, he's got rim though. Ocelon with the placement. Takes Repix out the game. Good dribble by Ocelon here. That is not easy to do. He's just flown away from Doomsie and popped it after the... Or popped it, caught it and popped it again rather. Okay, this should be Ocelon going for this, and he will. And Repix does go for it, so they've at least sent the right person to the kickoff. Even if they didn't execute properly, they had the right idea. I think Repix has used too much boost. Oh no, he flew over the ball. Repix, you, you bean. You silly man. And you have a casters tournament. If there's a casters tournament, it should be casted by players. That would be the best. They didn't make the rim transparent in the transparent goalpost update. This is true. Good save by Ocelon. They're making it difficult for Doomsy and Flores here. Although I will say Doomsy and Flores have made it difficult. Or Doomsy and Repix, my bad. Have made it difficult on themselves more than anything else. So many unforced errors in defense. It's a good shot by Doomsy. Repix was just playing fakey at the near post. If we call it a post. At the near end, the near edge of the post. This time Repix does get the dunk on the face off. I believe that's what he was going for last time. Doomsy shot again, misses the target. Just not used to shooting into this rim. So those of you who do watch the G Fan Elite series, no, Doomsy's a prolific scorer. Probably his finest asset in his Rocket League game is his just ability to be in the right place in attack. Always gets lots of goals. Good old poacher he is. He passed by Doomsy there, just doinking it off the front of the net almost. Can he get the early dodge? Yes, he can. Repix has a chance to tie it, and he takes it. Six all. What a romp we have here. Doomsy with an early dodge there to close the distance. He didn't have any boost to get towards the ball, but he dodged way off the wall regardless. Oh, please, no kickoff goal. You could do it, Repix. Well done. And Doomsy has also gone for it. What is he doing? Doomsy, you've just left your net wide open. Looks like Flores has missed it, though. Doomsy is still so confused by the kickoffs in this map. But what a save! Flores getting denied the dunk. This is the closest of the matches that we've seen by a long way. The only one where the, the, the team with Doomsy in it has scored a goal. But... He hasn't just scored one, he's scored six alongside Repix. Will there be another? Or are we going to overtime? I think it might be overtime. It's going to be tricky for either team to score from this position. Still keeping the ball in the air. It is going to touch down. So we should have Doomsy and Flores going for this kickoff. They've done it pretty well. Doomsy didn't use all his boost. Neither did Flores. Slow played it. Repix with a shot. Demo on the goalie. Doomsy, another... Technically open shot. Goes with the pass to Repix. Just missing the redirect. That would have been nasty if he got up in time to bang that one in. Another chance. Also on quick in the recovery though. Oh, he's rimmed himself. This is so dangerous now. But also on gets a save. Great recovery. Good shot by Flores as well, but Repix is there. This player's certainly getting pretty good at this game mode. In certain, in certain aspects. In other aspects, they're still pretty poo. But hey, it takes time. Even pro players need to grind to get good. Surely this isn't in, is it? I, I never know because the bounces in the corners can be so weird. Is he trying to bop the ball off the front of the net? Repix with the double fake. Looks like Ocelon didn't bite quite as hard as Flores did, though. <laughs> Repix with the pirouette. He's just dodging all over the place. Pretty dodgy character is Repix. Pop by Doomsy. Repix has a chance. He's going to try and set it to the backboard for himself. But Ocelon's defense is continuing to be MVP. Off the lobby, Doomsy with a double touch. Point blank range. Well over a minute into overtime now. I thought this one might be a really quick overtime given that we saw 12 goals in the first five minutes of the match. 
but it's settled Pong down champ, now. Everybody's Pong trying champ, really Pong hard Pong not champ, to lose. Pong champ, Pong Cheeky champ, lad, thanks Pong for the champ, year of subbing. Champ, Welcome back, Pong buddy. Champ, Pong champ, Pong champ, Appreciate Pong you, man. Champ, Pong champ, 12 Pong champs for 12 months. Oh, was that 12 Pong champs? I didn't count, but I believe you. What a strange match. 12 goals in 5 minutes, and then no goals in almost 2 minutes of overtime. In a mode where defenders were flopping all over the place. Doomsie looking for the pass, but Repix has made a run. That might be game, and it is going to be game. Repix and Doomsie just not able to get in sync. See there, Doomsie's going for a light pass. Repix was making a run, expecting a boomer. Doomsie can't read the backboard. That means he is going to drop to 0 and 3, and we'll have a three way tie for first place. Don't freak out though, it doesn't mean the Doomsie's bad. There's going to be a loser in exactly 50%. Of uh, of these two v two lobbies. All right, but um, that's going to be it for hoops. I I know a lot of you guys have been asking for hoops. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks to Flossalon and Reepsy. Re no, 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 not Reepsy. That's thanks to that. Do Doompex. <laughs> Doom Doompex. <laughs> Doompex is much better.